Hello everybody, welcome to a new video of Jane Speed Shop. So today I'm going to do a little bit of test driving with this uh, S124 V8. Turbo, of course. So if you're new to the channel, have a look in the right corner of you, you can see the logo. Click on it, you can see all the other videos of this project. So uh, what I've done since the last, the last time the car had done only a few heat cycles and um, just idling and do the cold start and that sort of stuff. Uh, Try to dial them, and now I'm going to do some street driving. I already did uh, a lot of it, but uh, so it's, it's dialed in to about 0.5 bar a boot, so 150 kPa, uh, and uh, atmospheric pressure, of course, so 50 kPa above atmospheric. So uh, it's running very good. The, I raised the boost a little bit to, to 0.7, I had two knocky fans, pretty small, so I pulled out a little bit of timing, so we're going to test if this now, that's now a little bit better. So that's the plan, so uh, for the rest, driving pretty good, self leveling suspension works pretty good, so uh, yeah, pretty pleased. It's uh, flowing better than with the last setup, I can already feel that. So I also have a new uh, EMAP sensor connected over here from uh, Tim's Turbo Center. I will put a link below the video. Very nice piece, aluminium with connectors and everything. So uh, yeah, very nice. So I'm going to test if the what the back pressure is now, and I can really see what's the difference with the last uh, setup because I have still the, all the old uh, log files, and I can see what the back pressure was. Then when I was running about 0.5 or 0.7 or 0.6 bars. So let's have a go. Idling pretty nice with uh, one valve closed. So I open this, the valve. Sounds a lot different. Very smooth. So well, let's have a drive. So, did some driving already, did a few runs on uh, 0.55 bar with a new uh, ignition, so it was a little bit pulled back so I would not get any knock. I had uh, doing shifting one knock event, but it was when I left off the throttle, so it was already, the throttle was already fully closed, so it's outside of the, the power bed, so that's not really knock, that's something else. Uh, now I raised the boost a little bit, so now I'm running between 0.7 and 0.75 with a little bit pulled back uh, ignition and it's all pretty good, so I don't have any knock events that going above the threshold level, so it's pretty good, it's, it's pulling pretty good, so I think this is a very nice street setup what I now have for uh, just regular fuel, so 95 octane fuel and um, yeah. I will go in the dyno in one and a half months and then we will do the fine tuning of these events because uh, when I look to lap down anything else, everything else is on spot on the target what I want or a little bit below so it's a little bit richer and it's just very very low percentages richer so that's not really a problem. So um, I will put the camera on a position you can see and I do one pull and then uh, go from there.
gonna hit another video. <laughs> like the video I like it very much tune looks pretty good now I can just drive it on the street uh, pretty good it's just some fine tuning on the dyno just put some things uh, yeah a little bit sharper I will send the loss to uh, Daniel from Dave test solution so uh, one and a half months of going on a dyno but I can drive it safely now on the street I had the last uh, I have a knock indicator on here but I can also see in the driving if I get any knock indications so it's all yeah I didn't have any knock uh, when I was full on the gas so that's pretty good the only thing I have to figure out if I can filter it out when I go off the throttle and then it registrates a knock account of a knock I can now see that the lock that is outside of the power band but uh, oh, I get a telephone call so this is the last uh, log that I have, so I'm running in 5th gear, so I shifted from 2 to 3rd to 4th to 5th, so then the exhaust temperature is going up. And I'm running in all the lower gears in around 0.7 bars, because, but uh, in the higher gear I'm running on 0.8, because of the higher exhaust temperature I think in the, that's in the exhaust. So, it will spool the turbo much more. So I have in the, in these regions around 16 degrees of timing. And if I look to the log, you can see this is my knock sound of all the cylinders. So the highest one is, oh, wait a minute. The highest one is 104. Uh, this is uh, 135 is then the threshold and the highest sound is on the 16. So it's all below. And it's, going a little bit up and down the most noisy cylinder every time is cylinder free so but it's all pretty stable and you can see here on I hope you can see it but this is where I go off the throttle and the last time I had here a peak behind it and then they say it's not detected but it's not really knock from the cylinder it's something else so my ladder values are pretty good all on spot on and what also is interesting, oh yeah, the last the ETCs are, are up. Last time I was running around 850 degrees, but I took the timing out now. So now the highest one I had was uh, 925 degrees. Um, and it's going down when I when the RPM is going up again. So and it's the highest one is cylinder six. So I have to check if this cylinder six is uh, 50 degrees higher. So maybe we have to trim that cylinder. And I have to check if the spark plugs are both igniting. Maybe one of the coils is broken, I had it before. So I'm going to check that. And what also is very interesting is the EMAP. Because last time I was going on dyno, I had uh, a boost pressure of 0.7 bars. And my EMAP was 1.7 bar, 170 kPa. So now when I'm running 180 kPa, 180 kPa, on boost pressure, my EMAP is only 67. So that's very good. That's very, very good. That's like lower than the boost pressure is because the atmospheric boost pressure is uh, 80 kph and my EMAP is 67. So that's very good. So that will only bring me horsepower already turn up, uh, turn, when you're looking to the other turbo setup that I have more than 100 kph less uh, back pressure so very pleased with this so hope you like this video thanks for watching so um, next few weeks i have not so much time to uh, drive the car and do some adjustments so i will go on a dyno in one and a half months that's the planning so uh, we will see so Hope you liked this video, thanks for watching and see you for the next one, bye bye.